Not unlimited. You don't know your scripture well. No. Did you have four wives? Hello. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm here with a guest. I'm Catherine. And we'll be checking out a video titled I don't see any logic why men are allowed to marry more than one woman. Wow. I believe this is going to be a very interesting topic. And so let's see how it's going to go. Go. My name is Lakshmi. I'm a journalist. Now, the second question is, Muslim men are allowed to it's marry four or five times, I think, and they don't uh, require their wife's permission, you know, the first wife's permission to marry, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, to marry more number of times. So I actually don't see any logic in this because I believe uh, it's one man, one woman. That's the institution of Even marriage. So please clarify. Thank you. Now coming to your second question. In Islam, men marry four times, five times, and they don't ask permission from the first five. Why? As far as polygyny is concerned, a man having more than one wife, Islam is the only religion, and Quran is the only religious scripture on the face of the earth which says marry only one. There is no religious scripture besides the Quran. I am a student of comparative religion. <laughs> which says marry only one. There is no verse in the Bible, no verse in the Bhagavad Gita, no verse in the Veda which says marry only one except the Quran. If you read the Hindu scriptures in Ramayana, the father of Sri Ram. How many wives did he have? How many wives? More than one. More than one. Three wives. Fine. Sri Krishna. According to Mahabharat. How many wives he had? Unlimited. <laughs> <laughs> I believe she does it. No, Not unlimited. Do you don't know your scripture well? No. <laughs> did he have four wives? Oh, wow. no. I have no idea. <laughs> Not four. Not hundred, not thousand, sixteen thousand one hundred and eight wives. <laughs> How many wives they had? Sixteen thousand one hundred and eight. So why can't we Muslim have four? What's the problem? <laughs> when she Krishna can have sixteen thousand one hundred and eight wives. Why can't we have four? How can we meet those women? <laughs> Further, if you read the Vishnu Purana, chapter number twenty-four, verse number one, it says a Brahmin can have up to four wives. If you read the Jewish scriptures, it gives you permission to have as many wives as you wish. If you read the Christian Bible, it gives you permission to have as many wives as you wish. If you read the Bible, Abraham had three wives. Solomon, how many wives he had? He had 700 wives. It is later on, the church has put a ban that Christians should marry only one, not the Bible. It is the Jewish community married more than one wife it was in 1950 that chief rabbi, pastor Sinoid, that Jews should marry only one. So it is the rabbi, not the Jewish scriptures. And according to Hindu scriptures, you can marry as many as you wish. It is the Indian government in 1954 passed a law called the Hindu Special Marriage Act. Hindu Special Marriage Act which says Hindu should marry only one. It is not the religious scriptures. It is not Bhagavad Gita. It is not Ramayana. It is not Mahabharata. It is not Veda. It is the Indian Penal Code. The Indian government which has passed a law in 1954 that Hindus should marry only one. But according to the statistics of the status of the women in Islam, if you read the government documents on page number 6667, it says that Muslims do polygamous marriages. You know what is the percentage in India? 4.3%. How much? In India, 4.3% of the Muslim men do polygamous marriages. A statistic between 1951 to 1961. Hindus, how many? 5.06. 0.7% 0. more than the Muslims in India. According to the Indian government, even though it is prohibited according to the Indian law, yet they do more polygamous marriages than the, than the Muslims. Hmm. Why? <laughs> now, let's analyze what does the Quran say. Okay. 
Quran says in Surah Nisa chapter 4 verse number 3 Marry woman of your choice in twos, threes or fours But if you can't do justice, marry only one This statement, marry only one Is only given in the Quran and no other is scripture It says Marry woman of your choice in twos, threes or fours But if you can't do justice, marry only one So if you want to marry more than one woman One of the criteria of the Quran is you should do justice If you can't do justice You should marry only one Now what are the reasons, logical reasons a person can think that why has Islam permitted certain men to have more than one wife? Many non-Muslims think it is fard, it is compulsory for a Muslim man to have more than one woman, to have more than one wife. It's not compulsory, it's optional. Okay. It's not fard, it's not compulsory. How many Muslim men do you know who have more than one wife? How many do you know, sister? How many do you know? A few. How many? A few again. Few means one, two, three, how many? Yeah, at least about three. Oh, about three. Have you heard of Dharminder? Yeah. How many wives he has? Two. Muslim or non-Muslim? Non-Muslim. Non-Muslim. Your previous chief minister, what's the name? Jai Lalita. Yes. Hindu or Muslim? Hindu or Muslim? Hindu. Hindu, fine. Now these are famous personalities. Fine. How many famous personalities you know in India who have got more than one wife? The three you know may be locality, fine? Yeah. Local maybe friend in your neighborhood, maybe your colleague. In India, there are more non-Muslims having more than one wife than the Muslims. Now let us understand what are the logical reasons. Come back to logic now. Okay. Now, by nature, if you ask any medical doctor, he will tell you, male and female are born in equal proportion. Girls and boys are born in equal proportion. But any medical doctor, any pediatrician, any children doctor will tell you that the female sex, the female child is stronger than the male child. That's the reason there are more deaths in the male children as compared to female children. So in children's age itself, the female children are much more than the male children. As life grows on, there are people dying due to accidents, due to alcoholism, due to war. There are more males dying as compared to females. Today, if you analyze in the world, there are more females in the world as compared to males. There are few third world countries like India where the male population is more than the female population. And do you know why? The reason is because of female feticide and female infanticide. According to an article, a program which came on BBC by the name Let Her Die, the program of assignment, there was a British reporter by the name of Emily Beckenin. She comes to India and she says that every year in India, more than one million fetuses are being aborted after they identified that they're females. She says more than 3,000 every day. You multiply more than a million every year. According to the Tamil Nadu government hospital report, she gives the statistics, out of 10 females born alive, do you know how many are put to death? Four. Sister, did you know that? Tamil Nadu, your state, your beloved state, according to the government statistics, out of 10 females born alive in the government hospital, four are put to death. There are billboards put in Rajasthan and here, which says, that spend 500 rupees and save 500,000 rupees. You know what does it indicate? Spend 500 rupees, do ultrasonography, do amnio sentences, identify the child you're carrying as a female, abort her, and save 5 lakh rupees, 500,000 rupees. Maybe a couple of hundred thousand are bringing her and the remaining hundred thousand in dowry. Bring her, if you, are, bring her up, if you, are both her, you know, If you stop this evil practice in India, our beloved country, Stop the female infanticide. Stop the female feticide. Even in India, the population of female will be more than the male population. If you see the rest of the world, if you see New York alone, there are 1 million females more than males. In USA alone, there are 7.8 million females more than males. 
In UK alone, there are 4 million females more than males. In Germany alone, there are 5 million females more than males. In Russia alone, there are 9 million females more than males. And God alone knows how many millions of females are more than males throughout the world. Suppose I agree with your philosophy, sister, you said, one man, one woman. If I agree with you, sister, with your philosophy, one man, one woman. And suppose my sister happens to be in America, or your sister happens to live in America. And suppose the market is saturated. One man, one woman, saturated. Yet there will be 7.8 million females who will not find life partners. One man, one woman. Now the option for these 7.8 million females is either marry a man who already has a wife or become public property. <laughs> you say, Dr. Zakir Naik, public property, such a harsh word. Sister, it is the most sophisticated word I can use. I cannot use a more sophisticated word than public property. According to the statistics of America, do you know, on an average, a man, before he settles down with a wife, he has eight different sexual partners. Do you know that? On average, eight. Some may have one, some may have ten, some may have twenty-eight sexual partners before he settles down with one. <laughs> so the only option remaining so if my sister happens to live in America, or if your sister happens to live in America, and the option is given to her, and suppose the market is saturated, every man has found a woman for himself. And unfortunately, if my sister, or if your sister happens to be one of the women who has not found a life partner, the only option for them is either marry a man who already has a wife, or become public property. Any modest woman would opt for the first. Sister, what would you opt for your sister? Marrying a man who already has a wife or become public property? <laughs> My sister is too young to be married. So. When she grows up and if she happens to go to America, or if you happen to be in America. Third choice. What would you prefer for her? You're the elder sister. Would you prefer her becoming public property or marry a man who already has a wife and get equal rights? In Islam, if you have a second wife, you give equal rights. In America, the public property has got no rights. She's degraded, she's dishonored. In Islam, she has an equal right, she gets honor. What would you prefer for a younger sister when she grows up? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's short of words. difficult to speak the truth, sister. <laughs> right? Especially in front of such a large audience. Anyway, I've got your answer, sister. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, she and I'll yes. speak for that. So that's the reason in Islam, sister, men have been allowed to marry more than one wife is to protect the woman, not to degrade her. Regarding a question, is it compulsory that the husband should take the permission of the wife? It's not compulsory because if she wants to protect, if that man wants to protect another woman, a normal woman, I agree with you sister, no woman under normal circumstances would like to share the husband. We have to agree. This is human nature. But if the woman is a good Muslim, is a good Muslim woman, what she says, let a small loss take place to prevent a big okay. loss. She will say, I know sharing my husband is a loss for me, but I would prefer letting a small loss take place for me to prevent my sister becoming public property. She is a good human being. So she would surely give permission to the husband to marry a second woman, if she is a good Muslim woman. But taking permission is not fard, it is preferable. But at least informing is a requirement so that he does justice between the two wives. Hope that answers the question, sister. Thank you. <laughs> wow. 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 <laughs> what a very, what a very educative message by Dr. Dr. Zaki Mike. Wow. And I think the title rightly say. I don't see any logic why men are allowed to marry more than one woman. Wow. And I believe Dr. Zaki Naik has really done justice to this. Like, truly, looking at the population of the world, uh, the females are usually more than, the women are usually more than the, the men. And I think it will be, it will be just like, you rightly say, it will be best or if you are a woman, it would be best if you be you marry someone that already has 
the Osman rather than becoming a public okay. property. And I believe Dr. Zaki Knight has really done justice to this. I don't know if you happen to have a sister and the sister happen to find herself in a country that the females there are more populated are more populated than the maize. I think at the end of the day, if she's a very good uh very good woman, she will end up going for the option of settling down with someone that already has a husband rather than becoming a public rather than becoming a public property. I know this is very this is very hard to take in because <laughs> as a woman allowing your husband to go for a second wife is something is something very difficult most especially if you are the type that you and your husband uh you you work together and you build the wealth together it's very difficult for you to allow another woman to come in most especially i don't know about others first world country most especially in africa most especially in the third third world country you know if you happen to find yourself in a situation like this, it will be very difficult for you to allow your husband to go for a second wife. Just like Dr. Zaki Naik has rightly said, if you are a good Muslim woman or if you are a good woman, you will be able to consider this option. Because you would have you could have also been in this that position, position yes. but you are lucky you got a husband. Yes. If you are if you are happen to be in that position and all men already has uh, a wife and you happen to be in this position how would you feel in this type of situation so i believe this is something we all we have to really sit and think about it i know a lot of people will not accept this a lot of people will not accept this but i think there are some reasons that we can consider this just like before before we started this reaction i was asking uh, my guest here was speaking on something like this that if a man that is better for a man to it's better for a man to have two or three wives rather than going to cheat outside because if the man end up going to cheat outside at the end of the day he might comes he might come back with different type of infection at the end of the day the lady can also contact okay. those infections so i think this is really a very educative message and we have we have been able to learn a lot from this what do you also think i really think you said it all what you said is true and also i i say thank a big thank you to dr zakina he really really did a good job by answering her with a good answer it's really really nice because nowadays everywhere women are more populated more than men for me i i i, can, I should say like or i would say we should allow men to marry more than five or six or e. seven yes. uh, because i think that's too much are you really <laughs> sure you can do that <laughs> <laughs> she say five six or seven but yes. i believe by the time her husband go for a second wife she's not going to take it lightly oh yes <laughs> because now Men are men are not men are not like people. Are you encouraging the men? <laughs> it's even better they bring more like five women so that you know one is good in bed, one is good in cooking, one is good in cleaning, one is good in talking to you. You know, some of men men they have choices. So to me, I prefer they bring their favorite home. We know we all know our stance. You give respect to your 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 senior. Your senior to give respect to you. Then we will be okay. Then him going outside cheating. Sometimes they will even go two days and not come home. What will you do? So it's it's. I rather prefer that we are all in the house. We will be more happy than for our husband to go outside, sleep with another man. Uh, sorry, another woman come home with an infection. You contact in this one contact. In that one is not nice. So as doctor said, as a good woman, we should understand that situation because I can also find myself in that situation. My sister too can find herself so it's not all about ourselves it's not all about our feelings we should also think about someone's feeling because we can also be in that situation so to me i think we should allow the men but the only thing the men have to do for us is to ask for our opinion they should just let us know that oh i'm bringing in another woman 
that one is. But if you don't tell me at all and you bring in another one, I'll, I'll be surprised. I'll be very angry. But if you let me know and I, I give you my consent, okay, my husband, you can Because I will understand. Now, how the things are going on there, eh? whether you protest the husband or not, another woman is outside doing, trying all her best to take her away from you. So it's rather she come in. So we all take care of our husband together than we fighting each other. So me, I, I think what the, this question is, is very a nice question. And also what, what my brother said too, I really, I really say that's the 100% answer. And I really supported him. So that is, this is my opinion. Let us know about your opinion too. Yeah, and I also think, just to add to what Zaki Nike said, I think despite the fact that we men were allowed to, you know, marry more than one wife, if we can do justice to yes. it, just like mm -hmm. he said, if only you can do justice And if to only it, you can control the and home. And if only you'll be able to <laughs> control the home, you'll be able to satisfy them. All of <laughs> You'll be able to. Why are you, laugh, why are you laughing? No, you know, like, it, it, like sounds, satisfied. it sounds crazy, you know, because how can you be satisfying five women? So you'll be sharing the weeks for them or the days for them. I don't know how they are going to. <laughs> he said, if only you can satisfy them, that's what he says. Okay. If only you can do justice to them. Yeah, it, so it, why are you not smiling? Why not, are you laughing? It comes with a whole lot of questions, you know. <laughs> now I'm to inspire to. <laughs> so the, the reason why I was. You know, keen on that word, if only you can certify them, yes. if only you can do justice to them. Because some men, I won't say some men, let me just say in some situation, when the man gets a new wife, at the end of the day, he might remove all the attention yeah, from, from the, the first other wife one, you go and, abandon you know, you. bring all the attention to, to the second wife, to the yes. new wife, that this is new dress, fresh blood, new dress, new this tea. is fresh blood, maybe... <laughs> All, uh, all his time will be will be given to that. Yes, attention and everything. And by that, you are not doing justice, justice. to you are not you are not doing justice. Just like what Zaki, Doctor Zaki Naik has said that it's only allowed when you can do justice to them. So if you know you are the type that it will be very difficult for you to do justice, <laughs> it's better you remain with one wife. <laughs> but if you know you are the type that. You can do justice you to them. You are good in justice. You are good. <laughs> Why you say you are good in justice? Oh, yes. Okay, you want to say you are good in bed. Is that what you Yes, want? if you are good in bed, and if you can take care of them. If only you, you can, can take care of you them. You can more. do justice yeah. to them. You are allowed to. And if you happen to find yourself in a country whereby the population of uh, male are more, more than, than the population eight. of female, well, I think it won't be fair for you to go for two wives i'm just saying so i'm just saying so that it it might not be fair to go for two wives if in a country whereby the population of men are 1.5 and the population of women are just one million and but, you are going for a two wife but you know people migrate from another country to to work and all that so it makes their population high and some uh, some countries where the females are more populated more than the men that's where uh, prostitution is high. Like some some other countries, population uh, prostitution population is very high because the some of the women say they are not they are brave. They don't want to settle down. All they want is money, and that that's why it is. So you know, sometimes I think that prostitution is not only high because we the women we are many more than the men. I think it's greediness is part. And like sharp money is part because someone some women they don't want to work they just want to sit at home cross their leg like this and be receiving money and it's not done anyway why will you not work and you'll be, you be expecting money they just want to use what god has given them to generate money for men which i think that one is also, also part of why yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. prostitution is high yeah yeah well, i think be uh, in a muslim country is very difficult for you to see uh, even though they they are even though they are uh, the rate of uh, prostitution and all that, I believe it should be very low, low. Okay. in Muslim country as compared to Western well. world. Wow, we have really learned a lot from this. So we also love to hear your comments. Just according to the topic, do you think it's okay for men to be? Uh, do you think it's okay that men should marry more than one wife, or me, if you okay. happen? To you, it's okay. Marry five. Uh, <laughs> I know you are just saying so. 
<laughs> well, if you happen to be a woman, do you think what she's saying is right that women should allow their husband to also... Let's remove jealousy and selfishness here. <laughs> Let's come to the fact. Yes. Yes. Do you think women <laughs> should also allow their husband to, you know, take in second wife? And keep the comments coming. Don't forget to, su to support us. Kindly click on the subscribe button. Click on the like button. Do have a nice day. Bye. Bye.